Well, hello, this is the uh, video for the fourth week of and final week of the month of April 2016 for the items which I sold on eBay. And let's see, I'll just get right started. You started on, you can see in the picture here, these are five Three Investigators children's books. These, um, let's see, I've had these quite a while. The, the kids actually had them and, and read them, so, uh, they're all grown up and they're over the three investigators even though they still love the books these are a favorite uh, let's see and let's see I listed these on April 6th sold them on April 22nd for $19.99 and that was plus shipping so okay move right on with the next one this is a uh, just a, a bunch of latch hook yarn uh, I bought. I got into this stuff for a little while there. I was I was selling some of it, and, and I did pretty, did pretty good with it. But uh, unless I get it really cheap, I'm just gonna let it go from now on. But um, I listed this lot on April 7th and sold it on April 24th for 9.99. I actually had this listed before in uh, two separate lots, and uh, someone purchased just certain certain ones out of one group and so I just I grouped them together with this other group and, and listed them together and sold them this way. So that other other person just wanted a certain brand. I think it was I think it was Bucilla. But uh yeah, so it sat around for a while before I got it relisted. And and that um yeah that nine ninety nine was plus shipping. So next this is uh yeah it's just a a tree topper. Um I had this in my yard sale, stuff that I was going to put in the yard sale, and I just started looking stuff up that uh, I was selling, because I was selling everything pretty cheap in the yard sale, and because uh, I, I usually do yard sales or yard sales, and I just sell stuff cheap. So, anyway, this, uh, I didn't pay anything for this, came out of a house cleanup, and I listed it for auction on April 16th, sold it on the 23rd for $7.99 plus shipping, and I was happy to get it. Beats a quarter. Next is these genuine Singer plastic. It's just a plastic case with some, you know some odds and ends in it. And uh, this actually had uh, the Singer cams in the bottom of it, which I, I sell them separately because people are only looking for uh, like a certain one. So I don't want to sell the whole lot to somebody for a cheap price and and uh, have them really not need all that stuff. So. All right, and let's see. I paid about a about a dollar for this. I, I paid more for it, like two ninety nine, three ninety nine, or something like that. But I've been selling the par other parts out, so we'll say I paid a buck for this. And uh, I listed it on February fourteenth, Valentine's Day, and sold it on April twenty fourth, and I got ten bucks plus shipping. Next, this is an Arrowhead uh, flint stainless steel potato masher and let's see I paid a dollar for this I listed it on April 9th and I sold it on April 24th for $16.95 plus shipping next it's an NIV Bible it's pink leatherette uh, it was in really good shape practically it really was practically like new I mean it was really nice um, I paid a buck for it, and I listed it on March 26th, sold it on April 25th, and I got $20 plus shipping. Next. Uh, these are uh, just a stop and stop. They're just a, a, a solid plastic um, chest set, and they're nice. I mean, they're pretty nice, but they actually came... Um, I probably, I think I had it on a video. I did have it on a haul video that this came in a chest and a chest set. They were in, still in the bag. The game had never been played, but it wasn't like it was a super expensive set or anything like that. And uh, I, I paid a, I paid a buck, paid a dollar for the game, and uh, I listed these on March 20th, and I sold them April 25th, and I got 14.90, 14.95 plus shipping for these. So. Uh, Keep that in mind. Um, that was actually a bit higher than than what I thought they would go for. So I was pretty, really, actually pretty pleased with that. 
next. And this is an Oster Pet Groomer trimmer. Comes with all the stuff you see in the picture. And uh, I had free shipping on this. I paid $5.99 for this at the Goodwill. I listed it on March 27th and I sold it on April 26th and I got $29.99 for it, which was pretty good. Next, and this is a book about uh, Revelation. I think I've talked about these books before about uh, the book of Revelation. If you're going to buy a Bible commentary to try to resell, the book of Revelation is usually a pretty good bet. Not always. Uh, some of them were super mass produced, but this Salem Corban guy is an, an older character, probably from the, I think the 60s and 70s, somewhere in there. And, uh, and of course it always helps if it's, if it's in a King James version, then, uh, um, the, the, then you, then you reach out to that crowd. It doesn't eliminate the crowd that, that, uh, that is not King James only, but books that are using other other versions of the Bible do eliminate King James version only people. So uh, that helps to reach out to that crowd, and they're a little more willing to spend uh, a little money for this kind of stuff. Let's see. Um, I paid a dollar for the book. I listed it on March 27th. It sold it on April 26th, and I got 19.95 for it. Next is the uh, this is just a, a a five it's a five pack it's got you know all the all the O2 cards their XLs I paid five five bucks for this at the niche I listed it on February 21st sold it on April 26th and I got I had a, a lot of very low offers on it and uh, I sold it I sold it for it was on sale sold for seventeen dollars and forty nine cents plus shipping. So next is this, uh, it's just a strainer. It's an old strainer. It's not a wood handle. It's a plastic handle. Um, let's see. I had that actually sitting around the house for a while. I used it quite a bit there. And uh, I paid a dollar for it and listed it on October 7th of last year. And I sold it for on April 26th this year for 10 bucks plus shipping. Next, I uh, think I might have had these in a haul video. Uh, I got a bunch of these for, uh, I think, I think this pair was actually three bucks and the other ones were all, were all five. Uh, I haven't sold the other ones yet. I did sell this pair, um, obviously. And let's see, I listed it on March 21st, sold it on April 26th and it was on sale for $13.27 plus shipping. Next. It's just a uh, a lot of two pounds worth of old uh, uh, plastic and glass and and probably there's probably some bone in there, um, just white and off white colored buttons. And I ran this at auction, started at nine ninety nine, and I got nine ninety nine, which is fine. And uh, let's see, I listed on. I must have ran it more than once because I listed it on April 1st and I didn't sell it until April 26th, so it must have ran a couple of times. Um, and I got the 999. So, yep, next. Alright, these are Trixie Belden books, and I don't usually pay very much for these. I, you know, I'll pay, uh, I can probably, let's see, what, what do I, do I have anything written here? I normally would not pay more than more than a dollar for any of these, and only a dollar if it's a, a harder, a later. If it's a harder one to get. If it's an early, if it's a one of the you know one, two, or three or something like that, I won't I won't do that. So uh, let's see. Oh, I don't have them on my paper. Well, that means that I don't really know what I paid for them. I didn't list them that long ago, so I'm surprised I don't have that on my paper here, but I don't. So. Uh, I didn't list them very long ago, but uh, they did sell for nine, 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 nineteen ninety nine at auction, so I was happy with that. And mm, let's see, next, I gotta hurry. Uh, these are just um, the uh, nice big fat 
advertisement for T-Mobile that are just gunking up the screen. That's nasty. Um, yeah, these are just the plastic uh, canvas sheets. I sold there. There was ten of them, and I bought a whole box, big box of these things at uh, at Goodwill for nine ninety nine. So I sold this. I sold this one for. Actually, actually, I I it was priced at nine ninety nine, but I got it half off that day. So it was actually uh it was actually five bucks for the big box for load them. So I I got marked down here that I paid fifty cents for the lot, and I listed on March sixth, sold on April twenty seventh, and I got ten bucks for for this set of ten. I think I have ten more of them. Maybe there's ten more available. So okay, next. Is this ideal motorific car? It's rough. It was really rough. I paid five ninety nine for the um for the for the box. I think it was in a haul for the uh for the box that had this car in it and a bunch of track and everything. And so I got the five ninety nine back on the car and hopefully I'll get some money on the on the track. And they were actually uh kind of faded and stuff like that, so I don't I may they may end up going to the garbage. Uh we'll see. But I don't know if the collectability is still there when the plastic gets faded, so I gotta move hurry. Okay, I sold the blade here out of this uh out of this uh Sunbeam Oscar Jr. Just sold the blade and uh let's see. I paid two ninety nine for the Oscar. I listed this thing on March fifteenth, sold the blade on April twenty seventh for fourteen ninety five free shipping. Next. Are these uh, milk class spice jars? Um, let's see, what do I got for them? I paid four dollars for them, and I listed them on March twentieth. Sold on the twentieth of April for fifteen bucks plus shipping. Next is this Express Ready Set Go uh, cooker grill, and uh, I had this listed for quite a while. It's not one of the ones that came out of the box. It said this is another one, another one that I had that box that I bought. Um, this is just a different one, and I listed this on April, on October 14th, and I sold it for, and I sold it on April 29th for $13.97 plus shipping, and I was glad. Next is this Jimmy, I think it's Jimmy, Jimmy Rollins uh, baseball glove, I've had this listed for a while, I don't, yeah, I don't, I don't have it written down what I paid for it, probably a buck. Or uh, when I listed it, but I sold it on April 29th for 1995 plus shipping. Come on, I gotta hurry. And you saw this little truck in a in a a haul video. I only listed it for 99 cents because there was a piece missing. Um, just at auction, I thought maybe it might go a little higher. It didn't, so I got 99 cents for it. So not a good deal, but a great feedback builder. Next is this. I finally sold the uh, the uh, the stand that I paid, I paid a dollar ninety nine for the stand and the pipes. The pipes sold earlier for like sixteen bucks or something like that. This sold, I uh, listed it on uh, February twenty first. Sold it on the thirtieth of April for sixteen dollars plus shipping. Next is I sold the other one of these um little metal signs. I I think last week's haul had or haul or uh, what sold had one on it, and this has got the other one on it. And so they're both gone. I didn't pay anything. Listed on August 24th and sold on the 30th of April. And I got 10 bucks for this one. Next is this Presto Mini Max food processor bowl. I had this around for quite a while. It's been listed a while. Don't remember what I paid for it. Um, sold it on April 30th. I got 14.95 plus shipping. And that's it. We're all done. Keep listing. Have a great day. And I'm out of here. Bye bye.